Hi, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're coming through, click the thumbs up or the thumbs down or you can subscribe. This is the lighter side of Black Bright. I do have some more serious side, but you know, I just like to have a break from all the serious stuff and I love watching Love Island so I thought I would do a series on Love Island. So all you Love Island fans, I hope you like what I talk about and whether or not you agree with me, well, it's just my opinion anyway. So tonight, what did we have tonight? We had the speeches. What brilliant speeches. And you know what? People need validation. The majority of people today, in today's time, need validation. They need affirmations. And, you know, people who've grown up without, with attachment problems, who, you know, may not have had good childhoods and stuff like that. And, I mean, I think Shauna was one such person. She had attachment issues and she always felt as though people were going to reject her and abandon her. So when you hear those speeches, all of them, they, it touches their heart. And even Paige, I mean, the tears when he spoke to her and he looked at her straight in the eye. So you know that a lot of women that are there those are what they want to hear and probably have what they wanted to hear for a long time. So it's really beautiful when it resonates with them and it resonates with us and we all get moved and get all moosh, emosh when we're listening to the speeches and we're like, oh, it's so sweet, isn't it lovely? And, oh. and Luke T's speech. Oh. Anyway. So we had the speeches and now Sean has left the villa. So people can breathe a little bit because she was a bit heavy. I think, you know, um, her presence was a bit heavy after Callum and people felt as though they had to look after her. Yes, she was a lovely girl and everyone loved her, but it was almost like it was a responsibility. People wanted her to be happy. People wanted her to fall in love. People wanted to take care of her. And I think she kind of pulled that out of people. She was one of those type of people that, you know, kind of not made people feel guilty but she had that kind of way about her that made people feel as though they wanted to take care of her they wanted her to be okay so now she's gone I think the villa can breathe and they can get on with what they're doing because I think um her and um Sophie they both had that similar energy Sophie had that energy after Connor left and um, Shauna had that energy after she finished with, after Callum found Molly. So, so that's all out of the way now. So everyone is lovey-dovey, but I don't quite get why everybody's kissing under the sheets and, you know, they're kind of spooning and hugging each other. And Mike and Priscilla, what are they doing? They're just sleeping. There's no kind of... I don't see where their intimacy is. I mean, Mike was so intimate with Leanne, they were snogging all the time. But I don't see that with Leanne, and I'm not quite sure what is going on, but maybe it's just that they don't want to demonstrate that on TV. I don't know. But um, it's not letting us know how much they care for each other, if you see what I mean. Because... What the public are relying on, we're gauging it on people's behaviour towards each other. When we pick couples, we pick couples on who we think are genuine. And when, we, when we're looking for genuineness, we're looking for people who are affectionate, we're looking for people who are, um, you know, looking in their eyes. And there's lots of, you know, subtle hints that tell us that someone is sincere and the relationship is authentic. When we see Mike and Priscilla, we've got nothing to gauge it on. It could well be a genuine relationship, but because we've got nothing to gauge it on, you know, it's very difficult to know whether or not it's authentic. 
But anyway, maybe Priscilla is just protecting herself. Like she said, she doesn't want to be mugged off. And if he is a game player, she just doesn't want to be seen kissing and doing all that kind of stuff. And then he mugs her off. So maybe she's just playing it safe and she's not allowing him to have open affection. I'm just saying, I don't know. Um, what else? Um, the Breakfast Club. Hasn't Luke T learned his lessons? Yes, you're talking in riddles. But you're still talking the woman's business. Honestly, tomato, tomato. So it means that if it's a tomato, it means the man initiated the friskiness. If it's tomato, it means the woman has initiated the friskiness. It's quite cute. I don't think they're giving too much away. I don't think it, I, I don't think if Shauna, um, not Shauna, Shanice, was fed back that information that she'd be too upset. I hope not. But he needs, well, I don't know, because with women, you have to be quite sensitive. I think that way it's quite playful, because they're not really giving any details. They're just more or less saying, oh, indirectly, that they there was some kind of foreplay going on. That's what I'm assuming. assuming. Anyway, so that's that. But he just needs to be careful because I'd hate for that to get out in some kind of task and it throws a spanner in the works because now they're boyfriend and girlfriend and Operation Fairy Tale. Oh, oh isn't there an older version of Luke T? My God, he's so sensitive, creative, you know, and he, I don't know, he obviously listens to her. He knows exactly what she likes. And I mean, the thoughtfulness that, that he, you know, the time he took to think through to create a kind of a Disney type proposal was absolutely fantastic. And that crown, do you think it was bloody brilliant? I don't know where they got those beads from, but they must have some kind of, um, they can make some kind of request and bring that kind of stuff in. But I thought it was wicked. Honestly, and she was so overwhelmed. And you know, you kind of look at them, poor Finn. He just read his proposal out of his bloody phone, bless him. I don't think it matters. Everybody has got their own way of doing things. Luke T smashes it because Luke T hones in on Shanice. It's almost like I'm sure they're twin, I'm sure they're twin flames. I'm sure they're soulmates. Because it's almost instinctive with those two. It's quite magical. And it's, you know, to watch and to see how the two of them are, it's almost like they have this kind of chemistry where they communicate without talking. And when they do, when they do touch, it's just so tender. It's really quite fascinating. And nobody else has got that. Finn and Paige, yes, we can see that they love each other and they have this kind of passionate relationship, but they, they don't have that edge on Luke T and Shanice. They just don't. I don't care what anybody says. Fairy, Operation Fairy Tale proves he's a cut above the rest. Honestly. What else is there? Um, I don't think there is much. I mean, Operation Fairy Tale was the highlight of the evening and the speeches, of course. Um, we don't know who's going to come in. We know that somebody's going to come in and put a spanner in the works. Now Luke T is with Demi. I hope to God she doesn't screw him over. Because you never know if I, some, some guy... I mean, because remember, she was going to go off with um, Jamie. And then she, after talking, she, there was something about him that she didn't like. I don't know what it was. But she decides to go back to Luke T. Who's to know that somebody else ain't going to come in and she's going to go off again? We don't know. She hasn't got a very good track record. But it was serve Luke T right anyway, because I'm not saying he should have chose Shauna because he's not attracted to her, obviously. But the fact of the matter is, is that he has chosen Demi knowing her history. He knows her track record. So it'll be on him. I hope he don't start making a big fuss if she fancies someone else, because she may, well, she may say, oh, I'm going to, if she's called on a date, she's going to say to Luke T, oh, I'm just going to get to know him, I'm just going to get to know him, there's nothing wrong with getting to know him, you watch, 
And then I hope Luke T, someone comes in for Luke T and he does the same thing to her so she knows what it feels like. She, I think she only kind of jumped back on Luke T because she knew Sean was interested. Them women are dread, you know. Anyway, I ain't got much more to say. I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day today. I put on my red dress for the occasion. But yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And yeah, um, Love Island on Valentine's Day. Luke T, he couldn't have chosen a better day to make Shanice his girlfriend. So that's made my day and my night. And on that, and on that note, good night. Bye.